write the name for CuF2, first need to recognize we have copper, that's a transition metal, and then F, that's fluorine, that's a nonmetal. So we're going to treat this as an ionic compound. First, we'll write the name of the metal as it appears on the periodic table. Cu, that's copper. Next, we'll write the name for the nonmetal, this is the fluorine, as it appears on the periodic table, lowercase f. And then we're going to take this INE, we're going to get rid of the INE and replace it with IDE. So at this point, we have copper fluoride. But since copper is a transition metal, we need to indicate the charge in the name here. So we're going to use the total charge of the nonmetal, the fluorine here, to figure out the copper. We know that fluorine forms the fluoride ion, which is 1 minus, and we have two of them. 2 times 1 minus, that's 2 minus. The copper has to be 2 plus. So we're going to write a Roman numeral 2 and put it in a parentheses here to show that copper is 2 plus. So the name for CuF2 is copper 2 fluoride. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.